Hey what's up guys, welcome back to Greedful. So we finished the game on the last part and this one we're going to be reloading that manual save we made just before we chose who we wanted the king to be. Um, so if you remember I did ask you to make a manual save at that point and sort of make a note of it, what time it was so you can find it easily. But yeah, reload that save back to when we chose the king. The quest it was is a new high king and it's a task, offer the crown to the pretender of your choice. Reload that back. Yep, and then what you want to do, you want to change to lowest difficulty and then you want to talk with Ulan and you want to give Ulan the crown. So load that safe up from just before we chose the king. Now, then you want to choose Ulan, give Ulan the crown and then after that you want to come over and talk to Ulan. And when you talk to him, tell him you want to wait for two days and go directly there guys. Just remember, like I said, you can drop the difficulty now to discovery. It's going to make it so much easier, so much easier. But because we've just done this, you sort of more or less know what's in store for us. We're going to be changing up a few things, not too much. But when it comes to the storyline and the side quest, that's all going to be almost the same. Uh, obviously, we've chosen different kings. So that changes a few things, but the majority, yeah, it's going to be very, very similar, guys. But we are going to be changing up our build in this one just to um, work towards, I think we do magic in this one, just so we can work towards the trophy for inflicting damage with magic 500 times. So what we'll do guys, just get to top of here, I'll skip the commentary ahead, get to top of here, uh, get through a cutscene, uh, fall downhill, and I'll pick up back near the next campfire where we're gonna sort of change our build. I don't hurt. Oh, yes, yeah, and no, thank you. No, goodbye. Yeah, finishing that quest should put you at level 29. And then, so what we're going to do now, we're going to warp to D side day residence in New Sereni. And what we're doing now, guys, we're changing our build. So come into your development menu. You want to reset all your skills and you want to just go all in on magic. Yeah, just go all in on magic. That'll get you the magical perfection trophy for unlocking all your magic skills. Yep, go all in, yeah, you'll get that trophy. And then you want to upgrade your willpower to max. And then upgrade your pen, uh, mental power to max as well. And then when it comes to your talents, you want two in vigor, two in intuition, two in lock picking, and two in charisma. Yep, if you didn't quite catch what I said, just go um, look in the text guide, guys, or just uh, rewind the video back. Yeah, so obviously we've got a load of new skills now. Uh, and because we're using the magic build, you're going to be using up a lot of magic. So you definitely want magic potions on you. Uh, hopefully major major magic, I think it's major or greater. Either one, which which one is for magic? Some have major, some have greater. Yeah, lob them on you, a good stacks, so you can be using them a lot. You will not need your gun no more, so you can get rid of all your ammo. You're not going to need your throwable potions because you don't have that skill no more. So you can lob away your... Uh, well, the thing is, some of them we're going to be using them anyway. Like the magic potion, we're going to be we're going to be drinking it anyway. So, but yeah, you can definitely get rid of your firearm and the ammo. Uh, you still want your al alchemical preparation of elemental damage, just in case you need that for some objective objectives or something. But yeah, what you really want, you want greater swiftness potion. I've got it all right down actually. 
Greater Swiftness Potion, Major Magic Potion, Major Health Potion, you want normal health potions, and you want our chemical preparation of elemental damage, like I said. But Greater Swiftness and Major Magic, you want about 300 of each of them. Greater Swiftness and Major Magic. If you don't have any of them, just talk with the vendor nearby, and he should have some in stock, and then just buy them from him, and then go and uh, duplicate a load in your stash. Uh, once you've got your skills, guys, and you've got all your potions ready, I'll just take a moment to go over the builds. Yeah, so from now on, we're going to be using the Shadow Missile skill. That's simply used by a square button. Simply used by a square button to kill enemies. And that's how we get the trophy War Mage. Do damage 500 times with an offensive spell. Now, when you change build, you may have noticed, but you automatically get like a default weapon in your inventory. Same with your clothing. And we want to use that default weapon. We do not want to be doing too much damage because you'll kill enemies too fast and then you'll get to the end and you will not pop this trophy so you just want to have the default weapon which you get when you change build uh, because your clothing probably changed you probably want to change your clothing back just to your ones with lock picking and obviously one with craftsmanship uh, but that skill there yeah shadow missile that's what we're going to be using square attack so once you're ready guys with all your potions uh, which you're going to need assign them all just make sure your greater swiftness potion and your major health uh, sorry your major magic is assigned to a slot which you're going to be able to find easy one you've probably been using often so you're going to be able to obviously use it a bit quicker because you know where it is without forgetting yeah and what you're going to pretty much basically be doing with them skills you bought yeah you see that i've got just got a default ring only just like 88 damage that's what we want do not equip anything too good yeah so with the some of the skills we used uh, you'll actually you'll shoot faster with a shadow missile you'll shoot a lot faster but if you use a greater swiftness potion you shoot even faster than what you normally do so what you're going to do in each battle you're going to drink a greater swiftness potion then just spam it on the enemy uh, spam the enemy shadow missile obviously use magic when you need to and um, use greater swiftness when you need to as well uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So just using square attack from now on. But we always use a swiftness potion beforehand. So come over here, talk to Constantine. Uh, and yeah, you want to talk about the encounter with N. Milfrictamin. And you want to reveal everything on N. Milfrictamin. And then you want to leave. Yep, and the quest we're going to be following first. The main quest which he gave us is attack on San Matthias. Talk to the governor of San Matias. Yeah, we're going to go for a little chat with him. I think we need to get a room. I think we need to rent a room out in the palace. For a bloody amount of times, we're going back and forth. Yeah, so um, I'm warping, warping over to San Matias into the Deside residence. Yep, and then once you get here, we're go yeah, we're going to go in, talk to Mother Cardinal. And that should update the objective to help the outpost of San Matias. And then after that, we're going to go to the residence and fast travel all the way over to the outpost camp. It's just over there in the woods. Well, it's actually in the outpost camp. But yeah, that's where we're going to warp to. So yeah, you got this little trek. So yeah, just head into Palace, guys. Talk to the mother. Go and talk to your mother. Go back to your residence and warp to the outpost camp. In the same region, of course. May the enlightened bless you. So once you've eventually found time to come and report to the guards of Beckon, 
Yeah, you can talk to the guard and choose to wait until nightfall. Yep, and then after that, you're going to kill all the beasts. Yes, yeah, so you kill all the beasts. Very simple. Remember using shadow missile, just like I am. Chug down, chug, 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 chug. A great a swiftness potion. Do not leave any in the glass. You need to drink every single drop of that. And you can see how fast it makes you. You can stack, you can stack potions up to two minutes. By the way, if a potion's like 15 seconds in, then you can normally stack it up to two minutes. I think that works. I think that's like a general rule of thumb for all potion types that you know sort of regenerate over time. Yeah, so that's it, guys. Just keep spamming square now on all the attacks. You see, it doesn't take too long to kill them. Uh, but what we can do, if you get what you can do, if you get right to the end, like last boss, and you still haven't popped this trophy, I get it way before anyway. You can always what you can do, you can increase difficulty a little bit on the last boss, uh, so he's got more health, and then you can get more hits on him. But if you've done what I do, guys, just make sure you've got them skills that I did, nothing extra, and. Um, you got your default weapon, you should, yeah, you should get plenty of attacks in. Yeah, so after you've killed him, come and talk back to the guards and um, tell him about the, ask him about the origin of the attacks, update the objective to find the scouts, then we're going to go back to campfire, fast travel to the Vedluig camp in Turdo. Yeah, once in Turdo, you're going to carry on north to the OM and kill the beast north of it between the tent and the northeast globe. As we did do beforehand. Yeah, so when you beat when you've reached these beasts, there's no point of killing any any enemies we don't have to kill, it's no point by the way. Like you'll probably see me leave these. Uh, because yeah, I'm gonna have to farm the trophy at the end. Yeah, so you kill these beasts and then behind them is gonna be our chest we have to loot, remember? You need to make sure you loot the chest. I said this before. Am I just gonna be repeating myself for like the next few parts now? Just keep going over the same bit. Yeah, you need to do that chest uh, because you need the scouts notes and the San Matias trackers map. A reminder, it's always helpful. Yeah, see, this you can do this if you want. Uh, drink a potion just before you reach the battle. So once the battle starts, it's already active and you don't have to worry about wasting those very crucial starting seconds of a battle drinking a potion, leaving yourself wide open to attack from any direction. That's it, just spam your missile. Nothing will stand a chance on, dis on discovery difficulty. Yeah, loot the chest. You have the trophy, but that's lock 21 out of 20. But you, you've got that trophy, I don't really need to mention that. Yeah, so once you've done that, come over to this globe over here. And this will take you to the to Wenva. The northwest entrance, there we go, the tall trees. So here, you're just going to make your way towards the objective marker. You're going to light the campfire you pass, and then you're going to kill the boss that you reach after the cutscene. You want to loot the boss after beating him, because you'll get memory crystal times one from him. And then you go back to the campfire, which you passed just before, and then walk back to the Sade residence in San Matias. And then once you're there, guys, we're going to report back to the Mother Cardinal at the OM and hand in this quest. Yep, do all that. And I'll see you back in, um, I'll see you back in San Matias, guys.
creature who was leading the animals. It looks like a guardian, but its skin is strange, covered with ulcers, as if it was sick. That could explain its change in behavior, but not the intelligence with which these attacks were led. Yeah, come and talk to the old hag one more time. Actually, we've got to do it again later. And again, and again. Yeah, you'll get reputation plus three and um, to leave me friendly. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, that's what you'll get. Yeah, so what we're doing now, we're going back to residence, guys. And we're, going, we're doing the attack on the Hikmei uh, quest now, main quest. So going back to residence, and then we're going to go and talk to Governor Burhan in Hikmei. Just make sure you change... If you've got Petrus in your party... Uh, just make sure it's not because you won't be able to get into Hikmei if he is. But yeah, go to Hikmei, go and talk to Governor Burhan, and then go back to residence, guys. And I'll see you, I'll see you back in the residence. I'll probably be upstairs having a nap, so just wake me up when you get there. So what I'm doing now, I'm just changing my party to Petrus and Vasco. But if I'm honest, don't really think he need to do that. It's because I was putting him in party for the extra charisma. But I've actually got enough. I've got Max already even without him. Because we've got charisma uh, 1 and 2 from the talents points that we got. And we've also got another charisma from the cape, which I forgot about. It's because on an earlier draft, I did I I only managed to put one point into Christmas, so then I got one from the cloak and then one from Petrus. Uh, so in an earlier draft, uh, but in this draft, I've got the Christmas already from killing enemies. Um, but I guess he's there anyway, just in case uh, you're not quite as high level as me and you couldn't get that second Christmas. Um, but yeah, Petrus in your party, come in, come over to the um, Renhill at the OM. There'll be a cutscene. After cutscene, choose to leave. Very, very important. Choose to leave and then save your game. So there's going to be a Christmas check here. Save your game. Then after saving your game, talk to him again. 
Yep, talk to him again, guys, and then talk about the tracker sent by Burhan. And then after that, you want to choose the charisma option. Uh, convince her that the attacks will stop. If you fail the charisma check, reload the save, guys, and just try again. It's that simple. Then once you've done that, over to the campfire, and I'm going to fast travel to the dig it, dig it. Try and say it fast. I should give up. Did Giddison camp in Magasva. It's a tongue twister. So try and say every single name of all the camps in this game really, really fast. Did Giddison camp in Magasva. Did you get Yeah. So once you land here, uh, go and talk to the scouts nearby. Yep. And then once you spoke to them, we're just going to head to the OM to the north now, and we're going to engage in that battle, guys. So you know what we're doing. We did this before. Just go to the OM to the north. There'll be an automatic cutscene. Kill all the enemies. After you kill the enemies at the top, and then you jump down and kill the ones below. Remember, a boss type enemy will spawn. Kill a boss type, and then come back to the bonfire, guys. Bonfire, campfire, and walk back to Hickmay. And I'll see you there. That's what you think is it like? You know, it's quite that. Mal! I will. What? Maybe enlightened protect me in this battle! The potion on my plane! And let's go! Take a potion if you want to cast more spells! Let's see if you can ward off this fight!
Yeah, you won an yet another battle, guys. You are victorious again. Your legend will live on for generations. Believe me. Yeah, on the way on the way back to Hikme, just put Vasco and Kurt back in your party if you did change him. Because uh, like I say, yeah, if you've got Petrus in your party, they will turn you away. Petrus is banned. He's caught thieving. Come and talk to the governor, hand in that quest, and that will complete that side quest, guys. And um, yeah, it will complete that side quest. And then what we're doing now? Yeah, we're doing the main quest now. Talk to Constantine about your worrisome discoveries. So you're going to go back to residence. Uh, you're going to fast travel to the D-side of residence in New Sereni. You're going to go to Palace and you're going to talk to Constantine upstairs, guys. I will see you upstairs. Yeah, once you bump into Constantine, you want to talk about the attacks sustained by the Alloys. And when this peculiar knight comes and talks to you, you want to choose a Christmas option. You should be 100%. And uh, come and unlock Constantine's door afterwards. Go and look on his desk to find the um, pages from his journal. And then what we're doing now, we are following the main quest, Where Madness Goes. Yep, and um, we want to follow the objective to question the exiled natives at Wemba. So what we're going to do now, we're going to go back to residence and we're going to fast travel to the natives, native home camp in Wemba. When you get there, we're going to go to the OM and help the natives kill the beasts. And they're going to leave. And then, yeah, so what we'll be doing now is um yeah gonna be waiting for Constantine yeah so what we're gonna do we're gonna go um up the hill so you, you're just gonna help him kill this beast remember just use your shadow missile we're gonna go up the hill afterwards afterwards to the OM uh, then we're gonna choose to wait for Constantine and then after that we're gonna go and follow him we'll get to the OM we're gonna kill that boss congregation of merchant will become hostile and then we'll be following the main quest together for tier tier for D yep and then once you follow that quest we'll be going back to campfire nearby and um, then we will be warping to the village of Ignamri in Glenamva and over there we're going to talk to, with High King Ulan yeah so kill the boss guys get to campfire and um, I'll, I'll pop see you at the campfire I'll be waiting there for you getting warm then he's not alone
I say, but I still have more. Constantine, come back and explain yourself. I think I saw this spoiled brat have to wield a weapon, and now he's throwing beasts at us. He's gone mad. That's the only explanation. Let's see if you can ward off this fate. We will make sure we should have a bit. Yep, there we go. Village of Ring Namri in Glenamba. Yeah, so we're gonna go and talk to the High King. The High King, whoever made whoever you made High King, it sometimes changes you got talked to at certain times. Just because somebody different is High King. So yeah, can we talk talk of Olan at the OM? Yep, ask him to join the alliance against Constantine. He will not let you down. Yeah, I think we made a good choice picking him to be the king. Yep, he will not let you down, so come out afterwards. And um, we're following the main quest now, breaking the links. So come back to the globe, and now you want to fast travel to the East Road in New Sereni. The East Road in New Sereni. And if you remember this one, we're going into Constantine's hideout. So you're going to go into his hideout, uh, into that cave. You're going to pick up the two notes from the back room, uh, the map annotated by Constantine. And also you'll be picking up the Constantine's research notes. Yep, and then after you've done that, we're going to go back to the globe and we're going to warp to the Port Quarter, guys, in the same region. I'll see you at the Port Quarter, uh, so we can have a little chat with Admiral Cabral quickly. The that Constantine indicated in his notes shouldn't be very far. Constantine has marked several places on this map. I recognize some of them. They're sacred places for the natives. Places of connection. What? If you're Nick, being but I don't know. Yep, so like I say, to the port quarter guys, come and talk to Admiral Cabral. Yep, and you want to ask her to join the alliance against Constantine. She'll definitely say yes. 
And then after that, you want to convince the coin guard next. So we're going to head into the coin guard barracks and we're going to suggest to them to join the alliance against Constantine. And then once we've got the coin guard to join, guys, just go upstairs in the coin guard barracks, talk to Seglind and um, suggest joining the alliance to Seglind. They'll join, then you can leave that, obviously update that objective. Then after that, we're going to be completing the main quest, breaking the links. And first we need to ask Dunkers for help with that one. So after this, go back to your residence and um, warp warp to the village of Vigigidor in Vedrad. You'll see me do it anyway. And then go and talk to with Dunkus at the OM to get the seeds which we need and to update the objectives. And you also want to ask him how to break the links to update the objective as well. Yeah, so um, you need to ask him how to break the links and that updates the objective and makes him give you the seeds. And then after that, just just get there guys and um, I'll pick up after that. So I don't want to obviously go get too far ahead. So yeah, Vigigidor in Vedrad and talk to Dunkas. Yeah, so talking with Dunkus now, guys. Yep, and um, what we're going to do with Dunkus is going to ask him how to break links. He'll give you the seeds so you can complete the next quest. And we're pretty much just completing the next main quest now, which is breaking the links. So after this, we're going to go to the globe and fast travel to Credwin camp in Frasonigad. We'll go to the OM, kill the corrupted boss there. Once we've killed him, we're going to plant the seed at the indicated spot near the boss area. And then after that, we'll go back to the campfire we fast travel to Swamp Sanctuary Camp in Vedral V. And then we'll do the same there. Go to the OM, uh, kill a corrupted boss, plant the seed. And then after that, that should be at level 31, so it will complete that quest. We'll then be following the Together for Tid Fredri quest. But yeah, pretty much after completing Breaking Links, uh, we're going to go and fast travel to Hikmay. And we're going to go into Palace and talk to the Governor guys in Hikmay after completing Breaking the Links, which we are doing now. Dunkus gave us at the base of the raised stone. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond.
Seed. Look, the plant seems to be growing extremely fast. The Donegarda of Dunkus's clan are sure to be here soon to finish breaking the bond. Here we go, we're back. Guess who's back? Me again. Yes, Governor, it's me again, we're back. Yeah, so hand in the quest. And then you want to ask him to join the alliance against Constantine. Yep, now that we've done this little, this little uh, side quest. Yep, and then once you spoke to him, guys, we're going to go to residence and fast travel to the uh, D side day residence in San Matias. Then we're going to Mother Cardinal. And we're going to ask her to become allies against Constantine as well. Yep. And then once you've done that, guys, after speaking to, um, uh, what's her name, mother? After speaking to the mother and getting everybody to join, we're then going to go in and inform Glendon of the impending battle. It's imminent. It's inevitable. Yep. So do that, guys. And I'll see you back at Glendon's place in Dorhad Gedenu in Dorgrid. Here we go, we're back guys, and this is going to be the point of no return in a minute. So if you want to go upstairs quickly with any of your allies, and you know, have a bit of a, a funky time, you know, get a bit of a steamy session going on upstairs, yeah, you might want to do that. Like I say, it's point of no return. So you might want to get upstairs, get a point of from somebody, depends if you like, you know, depends what sex you like. But yeah, do that quickly and then come over here once you're happy. And um, talk to Glendon. Yep, and you want to inform him about the arrival of allies. And then you want to come outside and walk to the nearest camp. And then you want to gather your allies at the camp. And I trigger cutscene and put you in the ending area. Yep, so where we are, we'll be in the ending area and gather your allies. Um, they're all a bit blushed. They're a bit blushy still. They got blushed cheeks from that foursome we had earlier. 
Yeah, they said it was out of this world. It was shocking. Yeah, well, I made everyone. I made everyone drink a great swiftness potion in that foursome. Yeah, once you get here, so you know what we're doing, guys. Just heading up to the top of the mountain, and you're gonna fight the last boss. You should have got that trophy now, War Mage, for um, dealing 500 damage to all the enemies. Should have got that. Once you do get that trophy, by the way, you can equip a better ring on yourself. You know, so you do obviously more damage, um, or or change your build or whatever. It's up to you, because we'll be doing we'll be doing the melee on the last ending, so the last ending. Um, but yeah, make way up the mountain, guys, and I'll see you at the top. We but we need Wait. Enough. We need you. Well. Yeah, once at the top, you've um, you just got to kill this um, scary boss-looking guy, this tree boss. Kill him, level 32, and I'm going to choose to kill Constantine. And because we picked Ulan to become king, this will pop the island for sale trophy. Yep. Island for sale, guys. Only 100 gold. Who wants to buy it? That's cheaper than the Last of Us remake. Yep, island for sale. Uh, that's like I said, it's because we picked Ulan. Like, depending on who you picked for the ending, 
uh, uh, to be a high king depends what ending you get. Um, but yeah, that'd be it guys for that video. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one.